So all you're gonna need is a towel. I'm using more of like a hand towel, so not a full size towel. We're gonna be using this to create some tension with the towel and also for our alignment. It's gonna be able to give us a tactile cue because we'll feel where it's pressing into our bodies. So that's all you're gonna need. Um, so what we're gonna start doing is just rolling this up the long ways. So it's just one thin rolled up long line. And then most of the time what we'll be doing with this towel is pulling tension into it. Okay guys, so bring it down to the mat. Super excited to be live with you guys today. Take a seat. We're gonna get started focusing on neutral spine today. So neutral spine is where your low back has its natural curve. Now a lot of times we're losing this. We really become super rounded in our spine because of poor posture and just daily habits, right? We're all looking down at, at the computer. So this is really gonna help with your posture. My first suggestion would be if your low back is super rounded, bend your knees and put a pillow underneath your hips. Guys, we're gonna get into the workout right here. I'm gonna set my Pilates clock. It's gonna be about intermediate advanced. We'll get nice and sweaty. Okay, so we're holding on to that towel, pulling tension into the towel right at the height of the chest. Grow tall through the crown of the head. Okay. I want you to reach the towel straight up without letting your ribs flare. Draw your core in. We're going to start to lean back so we're long in the spine. At the last moment, curl through your hips and slowly roll it bone by bone back to the mat. Inhale, the head taps. You're going to slightly tuck your chin, roll all the way up and find your highest spine yet. One flat line in the spine. And then slowly we're hinging back. I want you to resist tucking your hips for as long as you can. You should feel that quiver in the core. And then scoop the navel in and roll it down. Take a breath at the bottom. Exhale, tighten through the abs. Lead by lifting the top of the head straight up towards the ceiling. Find that big lift through the spine. We hinge back, so think of getting longer here, maintaining the distance between your front ribs and your hips, and then finally, we curl it down. We're gonna add on, breathe out, lead with your heart, big lift. Bend your elbows wide, taking that into shaving. That towel glides straight down the back of your head. Reach it straight back up, hinge, stretching your fingertips and your tailbone apart. Find that coarse quiver, then curl it down and take a breath. Not easy, we got this. Breathe out, scoop from your abdominals, find that tall seat, find that lap, pull down, you're shaving the back of your head with the towel, anchoring your shoulders as you reach those arms straight back up. We hinge, find that length, puff your heart up, then curl the hips, really slowly into the body. Here we're gonna add on again, breathe out, roll it up, big seat. This time as you go into your shaving, you're gonna rotate to the left. Bend the elbows wide, keep your head back towards the towel. Extend the arms straight back up, come through center. Bend the elbows wide, twisting to the right. Making sure your head is back in space, right? We're finding that strong rear neck muscle position. Coming through center, we hinge. Get really, really long, and then curl through your hips, and resist. Good, breathing out, big lift, lead with that heart. Spine twist to the left, making sure that right hip doesn't come along for the ride. Extend the arms back through center. Then the elbows wide, spine twist to the right. Good, lift that chin up. Come back to center, reach those arms up, and we hinge back, get really, really, really long. Curl through the hips and bring it down. Last one right here, breathe it out. Big lift, sit tall. Rotating left, bend the elbows wide. Shoulders stay anchored as we reach back up through center. Twisting right, bend the elbows wide. Come back to center, extend the arms straight up. This time we're hinging and holding. So find a place you can lean back. You feel your low belly click on. There should be some kind of like quivering in the lower ab muscles. 
We're going to lower the arms to chest height and then lift them back over your head. Now, if that's too challenging, you bring your chest right over your hips and you focus on sitting up really, really tall. If you need more of a challenge, you are going to lean further back. But be honest with yourself here. We're maintaining a flat, neutral spine. So if you hinge back and your head's here, or your hips are tucking and you're kind of losing that height in the low back, bring yourself up higher. Get longer. Good. We're going to inhale, reach those arms overhead. Woo! I almost lost that one. I still pull it in. Okay, so I am gazing up towards where the wall and the ceiling meet. Because if I was gazing at eye level, you can see when I look straight forward, that then my head is not in the right alignment for the rest of my back. So I'm looking up slightly, and now you can see the back of my head and my tailbone make one line. Okay guys, we're going to hold the arms at chest height, and we're into our rotation. Find tension against the towel, we twist just left, and then come back through center. Same side, breathe out, rotate far left, turn your ribs, inhale center. Now, that right hip should not rotate with you. The other thing I want you to feel is that once you go into the twist, we have our head back still, that right shoulder is on the back, and our low back has a natural curve to it. And exhale, rotate, and find center. We're into those abs, baby. Breathe out, twist, breathe in, center. Good, I'm thinking about tearing that towel apart. You're going to give me three more right here. For three. Final two. For two. Okay, this one we're going to hold. So you're going to maintain that twist to the left. And now I want you to turn from your chest more and more. So not the arms, but rather the center of that torso, right where the small of your waist is. For eight. Seven. Keep that length. Remember, no scoop here. Six. Five, four, three, two, fine, center on one. Full range to the right. So we turn all the way to the chest to the right, back to center. So now that I'm tor turning towards you, you're going to get a different vantage point. So here's what I want you to see. When I go into my twist, my arms are still lining up with the center of my chest. My arms are not leading the movement because this is not for the arms. This is for the waistline. So you're turning right at the center of that torso. Okay, puff, puff up through that chest. Pull tension into the strap. Exhale. Inhale. Nice work, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling my belly. We have four. And three, for two. Okay, we're holding the twist right here on one. Find a little bit more length, and then give me those small waist rotations. Yep, right around the ribs. So the arms aren't doing it, it's from your core. We got eight, seven, six, good job. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it through center. Okay, so your towel is going to stay like this. It is going to go underneath your low back. So like I said, we're going to work a lot of neutral spine today. So neutral, I'll show you this from kneeling. Neutral has that natural curve, how I'm demonstrating right now. Imprint, which we use a lot, is the tuck. And you flatten that low back. So we're not going to do that position today. We're going to keep the natural arch in the low back. The towel is going to help us. So lay down on your back with the towel horizontally placed across the mat. And when you look, lay down, place the towel so it's at the small of your low back where you have the arch. I want you to feel like your tailbone is heavy, your back ribs are pressing down, but your low back is not pressing into the towel. So resist tucking your hips here. Bringing your legs up to a tabletop position. Inhale, dip the right toes down. Make sure the ribs do not pop as you do so. Exhale to lift. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out to lift. Okay, so first thing we're looking for here 
is when we move those legs, there's no movement in the core or the spine. Those muscles are contracted, they're drawing inwards, and then the spine is staying still. So you don't want to move your back and your hips in order to get your legs up, right? We're lifting from the abs, drawing inwards. Okay, so you should be able to feel like your low back is trying to lift slightly up off of the towel rather than press into it, okay? So we're focusing on maintaining the lower dotted curve. And by the way, this is gonna get harder, so don't worry if you're feeling like you need more of a challenge. Bring the legs to tabletop glue together. We're gonna go both toes dipping down. Now notice when the toes just about touch the floor, did those ribs lift? Pull them down and together. Breathe in, take it down. Breathe out, draw it up. Okay, so put your hands on your core. I want you to put your fingers on your hip bones, the bony part, and your thumbs on your rib cage. And make sure you're not trying to tuck your hips where you bring your ribs and your hips together right here. So we're keeping those two points separated today. Okay, let's do three more. For three. And two. Okay, those legs are gonna come to a tabletop on one. That right knee stays in tabletop as the left leg extends long and low and then we'll alternate through center. So no pausing, seamlessly switching. The lower that extended leg goes, the more challenge is gonna place on the abs. If you need to modify, send the straight leg higher, okay? If you need more, take that straight leg lower. Okay, feel that those ribs are drawing together and down. And then as your knee comes back to you, I don't want you to pull it so close to your body that's gonna push your low back into that towel. We're trying, this is not our focus today, right? Good, we're here for six, five, four, three, two, last one. We go double leg stretch, so both knees to tabletop, knees over the hip line, they both reach out, they both pull in. When your legs are out, make sure your belly does not lift. Pull it in towards the floor beneath you. Good. Breathe through your nose as you extend. Breathe out through your mouth as you return. The one thing I really have to focus on is keeping those ribs pressing down, especially when the legs are here, when they are long. So if your back is really arched here, then the legs probably should go a little bit higher until you can feel that connection. Okay, if we lose the alignment, then we're not really working our abs here. We'll be working the back more. And you didn't come to Pilates for that right now. You came for that. <laughs> Good, so we got three more for three. And last two for two. The last one, we're gonna take this into our scissors. So we got a straight right leg to the ceiling, toe pointed. Straight left leg, low 45, and we're gonna scissor switch those legs. Now again, I want the leg to stop over the line of the hip rather than come closer to you today. And that is just so we can maintain this neutral position. Good, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both legs together, double leg lower lift. So both legs are gonna lower down straight, both legs pull back up. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Breathe in, take it down, breathe out, pull it up. Now once you get more advanced, that's 45. If you're really advanced, I go about one inch off the floor if my core is able to take it that day. You know, some days are different. Some days I'm not feeling quite as strong. Today I'm feeling good in the abs, so I'm taking it to my lowest challenge place. As long as I'm being honest with myself, but I really still feel that I'm staying connected. Okay, we're gonna have four more here. For four. <sighs> Breathing out through the mouth on the return. We have three. And two. 
Last one. For one. Okay, give me a little knee hug in. Let them split apart. Release those hip flexors. So we're going to advance everything we just did. That was like our setup, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, so legs are to your tabletop position. Arm options, either straight forward and hovering, or for that neck support, hands come behind the head. So we're going to do just an abdominal curl to start. So hands are behind the head or long by the waist. Knees are in tabletop. You're going to curl up, lifting right from your rib cage. Now once you've curled up, I want you to notice if your knees have come to you like this and your low back has pressed down. We're not going to do that today. So knees are away from you. You have to pull the core in yourself. Not because you're bringing your knees closer to your chest, right? So this is more advanced. And then you're going to inhale, lower your head back down. So curl, just moving your thoracic spine. So chest over ribs. My low back is still slightly arched, but my belly is in. Inhale, we go down. Good. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So you're bringing the chest to the legs rather than the legs bringing them towards your face. Okay, let's go five more. We're just kind of setting this position up. And four. For three. And two. Okay, last one, you're gonna stay lifted. I'm gonna reach my arms forward. I like that because it helps me think of really curling high, high, high. Your right knee is in tabletop, your left toes tip down, and we're gonna alternate. So seamlessly right and left. Every time your knee lifts, I want you to add a little chest curl at the top. Breathing out and out. Good, now remember that tailbone is pushing into the floor. So I don't want you to feel like your tailbone is curling up towards the ceiling. It's going down to the mat. Okay, hold that chest high, bring the legs together. We're going for those toe dips. Add a little high lift of that chest at the top. Breathe in, dip the toes. Breathe out, curl it up. Breathe in, dip the toes. Breathe out, curl it up. Okay, sit into the work, lift into the work. Good, give me three more for three. Good, my back is trying not to touch the towel. Two, last one, one. Right knee in tabletop, left leg long and low, alternate, left knee in, right knee in. Reach through those arms, try to touch for the bottom of that yoga mat. Pull the ribs down and together. We have five, four, keep it up, chest over the waist, three, two, one, knees together. Inhale, both legs out, exhale, both legs in. Now, when you bring those knees back in, go slow and stop them over the hip line rather than into the belly. Okay, let's lift through that heart. Think of bringing your ribs down and together. We have five. And four. Breathe in, breathe out. Last two. Final one. We're into our scissors. Right leg long to the ceiling, the left leg long to 45 degrees. Find a little bit more from that chest. Scissor switch. Heavy hips. Good, give me six more for six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Double leg, lower lift. Curl up through that heart. We lower, we lift. I'm stopping my legs slightly further out to add on to that challenge. And I'm definitely trying to go lower than 45 today because that's just where I feel like I'm feeling the work. Okay, we have six and five. Awesome work, guys. For four, a little bit more through that chest. And three. For two. Last one. 
for one. Fold it in. Okay, we're gonna take it to straight leg crisscross. This is where we finish that kind of a, abdominal curl work. Right leg up to the sky, left leg long to 45. Try to maintain neutral and try not to let your hips sway right and left, yeah? So we're adding rotation. Curl up with your hands behind your head. We're gonna twist to the right. Scissor switch, twist to the left. When you go right with the chest, left hip should lift. When you go left with the chest, right hip should it lift. Okay, so take these nice and slow rather than fast. We have eight, seven, maintain length in your neck, six, five, four, push the sits bones into the floor, last two, and one. Woo! Abs are working. Are we feeling sweaty today, guys? You guys are crushing it. Okay, so we're moving into our side line. We're gonna use the towel for our oblique. So we have this little um, lift through our bottom waistline we wanna maintain when we do sideline leg work. So the towel, again, is gonna give us a tactile cue on how to maintain that. So come over onto your left side for me. The towel is gonna to go right below your left ribs and in between your left ribs and your outer left hip. So you'll just kind of situate that for your body. Lay all the way down and bend your knees to a 90 degree bend. So I am not allowing my left ribs to relax down like this and push into the towel. They are lifting up so there is space. So that towel is just gonna live there to give you that reminder. So we have an arch through the low back. We have neutral. We have a lift through the left ribs. And then we'll extend our right leg straight forward. Heel in line with sits bone. Turn the right toes down. You're gonna lead with the right toes angling to the floor lower. And then turn the leg out, lead with the toes up. Turn down with the toes to lower. Turn up with the toes to lift. So we are rotating through the hip internally on the way down, externally on the way up. Now the hips are not moving though, right? So the leg is rotating in the hip socket. That's a better way to say it than the hips are rotating. Uh, but this is called external rotation when the leg lifts and internal rotation when the leg lowers. Now I'm going for as much range as possible so I actually want you to think of this movement initiating from the top of your leg. So the foot is the easiest to move and see, but the movement is actually the entire leg bone. So when you go up and your toes turn up, you actually wanna think of your inner thigh turning up. When your toes turn down, you wanna th think of your outer thigh turning down. That's it. Right, turning out and in. And we're definitely maintaining that distance between the ribs and the hips here, right? So you do not want to be in a tuck. So this is not a C-curve class today. We're doing a little bit different. I just like kind of playing around and teaching new things, finding new things in the body. And I feel like as a teacher, I'm constantly trying to be a student and learn new things. And I like to offer that here on my channel. Okay, we're going to just hold it up on the next one at hip height, but turn your toes, knee, and top of the thigh down. Make sure we have that arch in the low back. You're going to give me little lifts. So this could possibly feel very strange, right? Typically, we're in parallel or turn out. We don't do a lot of internal rotation, but what happens is that then there's part of our hip that's stiff and part of our hip that is not strong, and we want to be strong all over. Okay, are we, have we collapsed in the bottom waist? I think I have. <laughs> Lifting it back up. Little squeezes. Okay, I'm definitely feeling that outside hip. I love it. I just want you to turn up now. So rotating towards the ceiling without the top hip lifting and then little pulses. Okay, I'm trying to keep my legs straight and I'm naturally wanting to flex my foot so that is what I'm going for here. And I also want you to really look at that knee. Try not to let it bend and extend. So one straight lift lower. Okay, let's do one of each. So heel up, pulse, toe up, pulse. Heel up, pulse, 
toe up pulse. That is evil and it burns. <laughs> okay, we got six and six, five and five, four and four, three and three, two more guys, two and two, last set, one and one. Woo, that's a good burn. Okay, so let's take it on over to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing. We have that towel. We're taking it to the right side of the mat. We're gonna lay down on our right side. I'm laying all the way down because our focus is getting this oblique lift and I think it's easier to find it by laying all the way down. So we've got that towel there right below the outer right ribs and I'm pulling my waist up. So I can literally slide my hand between that right waistline and the mat. You should see that your hips are back behind your chest, right? So we're staying out of a tuck. We have length here. Okay, relax your neck. We're gonna extend this left leg straight forward, angle the toes down. We're gonna go towards the floor, toes down. Rotate up, toes up, lift. Good, think of kind of like a fishtail. Turn in, turn out. Now, I didn't say this on the other side, but if you need to modify, the leg can be lower down towards the front corner of the mat. That's a good modification. The leg, heel in line with hip, is gonna feel a lot more challenging on that outer hip muscle. It also requires a lot of flexibility in that hamstring. So you might just feel like you kinda of get stuck and can't get your leg that far forward, then it's totally fine to have it uh, lower down. Okay, knee is long, thigh is firm. We turn in, and then we're gonna rotate upwards. Okay, push your bottom leg into the floor for stability. We have that lift through our bottom side. Good, there we go. Turn it in. And then rotating up. Okay, hips and shoulders are stacked. And I am definitely trying to keep an arch in my low back, which for me here is something new I've really been working on because I was just noticing that I was doing so much imprint that my low back wasn't getting, um, having enough of its natural curve, wasn't feeling that strong. So today's class, by keeping this low back, paying a lot of attention to the curve, it's gonna help strengthen your low back in all of these positions. Good, and then turn it up. Turn it in, take it down. Rotating that inner thigh to the ceiling, and we lift. Outer thigh to the floor, and we lower. Okay, let's do three more. We got three. And two. Okay, last one. And one. Okay, rotate the toes, knee, and top of the thigh down. You're going to give me little lifts. Good. I'm maintaining that distance in my waist. I can feel on this side it's definitely harder for me. I'm definitely feeling like I want to tuck my hips a little bit more. So I just give myself tactile cues, put my hands on my hips to help keep them in place. Good. I, it's also very apparent to me that I have less range of mo motion here in this internal position on the side. It's like, whoa, feels a lot more challenging co to connect with. Okay, we're going to externally rotate in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, turn the toes and knee up, and then little lifts. So check that top hip, make sure it's pulling back in space and not jutting forward. Oh, yes. I love sideline leg work. It just burns like so crazy. <laughs> okay, knee is straight. In 10 seconds, we're gonna do 10 alternating to burn it out. Good, in five, four, Three, two, make sure that waistline is lifted. Turn it out, pulse it up. Turn it in, pulse it up. Okay, we're just rotating. Nine, nine, eight, eight. Chest is puffed up. Tailbone is reaching to the wall behind you. We got it. Six, six, five, five. See if you can bring that leg further forward. Four, four, three, Three, two more sets. Two, two, last set. One, and one. Woo, that hip burn though. 
Okay, guys, so we're going to move on to some extensions. So this is definitely going to be focusing on the back of the body. So first one we're going to do is focusing on something called our T-spine, our thoracic spine. That is your upper back. So that's about where a girl's bra strap would be or the bottom of the shoulder blades to about the base of the neck. That's the upper back. That's what we're going to focus on moving. So the towel is rolled up thinly, like we've been having it the whole class. It's going to be horizontal and about the middle of the mat. You're going to lay down on your belly. The towel is going to go right below your belly button, but above the pubic bone. Legs are long and hips distance apart. We are now going to do the imprint. So this is where you tuck the hips. So when I tuck my hips here, the pelvis will push into the floor and the belly which is right above the towel, is lifting into the body. So here's something crazy. <laughs> I want you to have the idea that the belly is not touching the floor. Now, is that actually what's gonna happen? Probably not. Um, but pubic bone pushes down, my belly is lifting into my body. That towel is our reminder when we lift our chest not to push the belly into the floor. Okay, so fingertips by the ears. We are lifting from the mid-back, so I want you to try to bend from your upper back. You're going to lift your chest up, eyes are to the mat. Notice if you've pushed your belly into the floor rather than the front of the hips. So that's where we want the pressure to be on the front of the pelvis, not the belly. And then we're going to lower back down. So you're going to exhale, lift. Once you're up, pull your belly in so it's not resting on the ground. And then inhale to lower. Good. Breathe out, lift. It should not be a big range of motion here. Breathe in, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. The squeeze, the contraction, should be here where my hand is, on my mid-back. Okay, we're going to do five more. Five, belly in and up at the top. Four. I kind of have to stop myself because I'm pretty flexible, so I can just use my flexibility and get up really high. So I'm keeping myself a little bit lower so that I really feel the mid-back being what's giving me the mobility and the lift, then my lower back. Good, navel up. <laughs> Last one. We lift, and we lower. Okay, so that was the focus on the thoracic mobility. Now we're going to talk about the head. So we're going to hold the towel like we did earlier, one hand on each side of it. You're going to use this towel as if it's a head rest. So we're going to bend the, the elbows and place the towel behind the head. Then the arms will stay like that the whole time. Okay? I want you to think of looking straight to the floor and pushing the back of your head into the towel. Now you're going to lift your chest up, head is pressing into the towel, Gaze is straight down, so not forward. You are at eye level, and then you lower straight back to the floor. Lifting up, push the back of your head into the towel without looking forward. Lower down. Good. Exhale to lift. Back of the head pressures into that towel. Inhale to lower. So we're strengthening those rear neck muscles. I'm using active pressure to lift my head up but not four, so gaze down. We're gonna do five more. We have five. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed, upper traps are not lifting. Pause at the top and contract the rear neck muscles by pushing your head into the towel. Okay, two more. Two. Last one. One. Okay. If you have tech neck, that's your exercise. That one will help you. This next one, arms are straight. The closer your hands to each other, the more intense it's going to be on the shoulders. Now your whole body, but your arms, arms will lift, body will be down for this one. So gazing to the floor, you're going to rest your head. Arms are going to lift up, and then they're going to stay up. And we're going to shrug the shoulders up and down. Okay, so gazing down. Arms lift, they stay lifted. Shrug your shoulders up, pull your shoulders down using your lats. Shoulders shrug up, 
Shoulders contract down. Now, if you're stronger, get your arms higher or bring your hands more narrow. I want you to feel the muscles in your upper back slide down and hold. Pull tension in the towel. Then shrug the shoulders up. Shrug down, hold. Shrug up. Shrug down, hold. Shrug up. Let's do five more. Five. Try not to rush it. Arms high. Four. Lift those arms. Three. Last two. Two. Last one. One. Oh my goodness. Surprisingly very hard. Okay, we're going to take this to a chest opener. This extension will be higher. It will be more about the flexibility from the lower back. So different than earlier. Towel behind your low back. Palms hold the towel with the palms facing down. The closer the hands, the more intense in the front of the chest. If the shoulders are rounding in, then you need to take the hands wider, okay? So elbows are going to hug in and point straight up to the ceiling as if they're trying to touch each other behind your back. We're going to inhale, lift everything up, straighten the arms, and reach the towel towards the feet. Then lift your arms up. That's for the shoulder flexibility. Then lower the arms down, start to lower the body, bend your elbows straight up to the ceiling, pull the towel towards the small of your back. Reach the towel out, lift up. Lift the arms up, start to lower everything down, bend the elbows back in. Good, reaching back through the arms, open up through the chest, lift the arms up. Lower down, bend the elbows in. You got it. One more of this position of inhales. We go out, glide the towel down the back, we lift. Lower, bend it in. Reversing the grip. Palms up, thumbs on the inside, elbows pull together. Here we go. Glide the arms straight down your back, lift. Pull tension in the towel. Arms go up. Arms come down, lower everything down, bend the elbows towards the ceiling. So try not to let them open. Pull them towards each other. Slide the towel down and back, lift. High with those arms, lower. Bend the elbows in. Let's find three more. Breathe in to come up. And then breathe out to come down. For two. The last one right here. Breathe in, reach it back. Big heart lift, big left leg lift. Use those glutes. And exhale, bend it all the way in. Okay, one little stretch, child's pose. Release your back, hips to the heels. Woo, you guys are crushing it. Okie dokie, we're gonna roll up and we're gonna bring this to mermaid. This is for our obliques. So we're gonna use the towel. It's gonna be side bending, but also twisting. So we're kneeling, I'm gonna have you extend your left leg out to the left. So your left foot will line up with this right knee. And then we're gonna hold, wow, my shoulders really feel the work from that last movement. We're gonna hold the towel, one hand on each side with the palms facing the floor. Pull against the towel, expand your chest, and pull the arm bones back in space, okay? This left hip, we don't want it to turn with us. So your hips are in a cast, they're not gonna move. Take a side bend over to the right. Pause when you feel this left side click on. This is where you're going to stay. So this is how far over you are the whole time. We're going to exhale and turn the chest right, not that left hip. Now, once you're in your twist, the center of your chest and that center of the towel should line up, and then we come back through center. So you're gonna rotate to the right. Inhale to the center. Breathe out, twist. Breathe in center. This is that thoracic mobility. So we want to feel the middle of our waist turning us. The, the left hip pulls back right here, so it doesn't come forward. 
we come back through center. Now we're not lifting up, so we're staying in the work. If you need more work, you find a little bit deeper of a side bend. We twist, breathe out. We inhale, coming back through the middle. Now when you turn, I want you to keep in mind, we're not rounding that back. So pull your shoulder blades together and reach out through the crown of the head. Okay, we're gonna go for five more. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Navel is tightly drawn in. We got three more for three. And two. Last one right here. You're gonna hold it and you're gonna twist through your chest. So remember the arm shouldn't be past you. The arms still line up with the center of the chest. Move your spine. Eight, seven, breathe out. Six, five, you got it. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Come through center and lift. Oh yeah, obliques baby. Let's switch it up, kneeling on the left. Right leg extends long to the right. Towel up to chest height. Hip bones point forward. So when you do the side bend, the side bend is directly over to the side. And then the twist is just through the chest, right? So I was showing you, don't let this right hip come forward. Keep it pulled back in space. Okay, so just a different viewpoint. We're gonna get going on the second side. So hinge over to the left. You feel that right side turn on. We breathe out, twist. Breathe in back to center, but don't lift out of it. So lean over, stay in that work. I'm pulling that strap apart to help keep my chest open. And I want to feel my shoulder blades wrapping down around my back ribs. Good, you're gonna breathe out, twist. Breathe in, center. Have you lifted it up a little bit? Let's lean into it. Now, I want you to also pay attention to the kneeling knee, the left knee here. Make sure your hip stays over your knee and doesn't bug out to the left. So hip should be directly over that left knee. You got it, we got five more. We're here, five. Good, reaching long from that right heel through the top of the head, four. Think about your heart pulling away from the front of your hips. Three. Nice job, guys. Two. Last one, we stay in it and you turn your chest. Pull your shoulders on the back, especially this top right arm. We got 10, nine, eight, looking out, not down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming to center, lifting, and stepping that knee down. How are you guys feeling? You're doing amazing. Hope you're enjoying this towel work. Definitely feeling good. We're gonna move in to some of our stretches using the towel. So I'm gonna have you bend your left knee, lift that tall through the low back. You're gonna put your right foot in the towel. Kind of like hook it in. And we're gonna sit really tall so we're still focusing on that neutral spine. And then you'll lift your right leg up. Then inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the right knee. So we're into our climb retreat. If you can have the towel more on the toes rather than the heel, do that. So that when you straighten your leg, the heel goes forward. Now when you straighten your leg, this is what I want you to focus on. The leg goes straight, your back muscles pull together and you lift taller, sending your chest over your sits bones rather than the arms being releasing that low back dumping, right? So it's all about spine focus. If you can't do that, keep a little bit more bend in the knee. Okay, last two. Last one, I want you to keep your legs straight and put both sides of the towel into the left hand. Circle that right arm back behind you. Push that right sits bone into the floor and twist looking to the back of the room. Pull the left shoulder into the back. One long line and that's fine. Come through center and let's release. Woo, that felt good on the hamstrings. 
So that right knee is bent. We're going to loop the left ball of the foot, lift the knee up. Now navel in and then sit tall. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, bend your left knee. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, I've got a thing of pulling up, up, up. The work is not done just because we are stretching. The core definitely can help us get more out of this flexibility work here. Okay, you're going to give me two more. Remember, back engaged, and I'm trying to send my chest forward and up. Okay, last one, extend your leg, both sides of the towel, into the right hand. Now, this is why I did it. With, from a different angle. Now see this right shoulder. I want you to pull the shoulder into the back when we go into the twist. We're going to rotate left, lift through that low back, twist through the waist. Now I'm not releasing that right shoulder. Pull that strap to you. Good. Lift taller. Expand. Maybe look towards the back hand. Good. And then releasing through center. Good. Bring it to kneeling for a hip flexor stretch. Okay, so let's step that right foot forward and wide. Knee over the ankle. Left leg steps back and we drop those hips. This gets a little sticky with sitting up really straight, those hip flexors. And that we did a lot today in the neutral spine. So hopefully this will help release that. <sighs> Lean the front of that left hip into the ground. And we're just going to swap it out. So right knee steps back, left foot steps forward. Let those hips drop. I'm leaning this right hip down now. Looking good, guys. And then we're just going to step it in. You guys did amazing with your towel workouts. I hope you guys had a great class. Let's bring you over here, see if there's any comments I didn't get to. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for joining me for a 45-minute towel workout. Definitely tons of focus on the posture today, right? We're strengthening the back of the neck so we aren't here, and we are strengthening having that natural curve so we're not here. Yes, yeah, so that was our big focus. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. Please like, subscribe, share all the things, and I'll see you on the next workout. Bye, guys.